narcissistic abuse. Uh, a lot of times people don't realize that they're stuck in a toxic relationship, that they're stuck in a relationship that actually has them in a trauma bond, actually has them in a bond that is getting them stuck time and time again. And people are like going back and forth thinking, how do I actually get it out of this? Like, what do I actually have to do to get out of this relationship? And a lot of times people will think maybe it's just time, you know, maybe over a period of time, it'll, I'll get over it. You know, maybe if I learn everything about narcissism, then I'll be able to figure it out. And over a period of time, people think, hey, this is going to fix me. But a lot of times we've noticed it doesn't. It's not just time. It's not just knowledge. It's not just like knowing everything about narcissism, going no contact, like breaking up, like separating as much as you can. That actually solves the problem. There's the story that you tell yourself, like what you actually tell yourself every single day. What you tell yourself about that situation is what locks you in. What keeps you tied and going back over and over and over to a toxic person? And the problem is until you actually break that, until you actually break the story that you're telling yourself, you'll always go back. Do you know what narcissist snapshotting is and have you ever experienced it during love bombing? Um, I know a little bit about it because someone actually brought it up the other day and I have like mixed things about it. Uh, I don't know exactly how much I would say I did that. Uh, as far as like snapshotting, I have to look into it and research it a little bit more. But um, as far as like seeing that like first initial impression of a person and then being like, hey, let me go ahead and always hold them to that standard. For me, there's like a piece of that that wasn't always the case, because as you get to know that person, you develop a more rounded perspective of them. And oftentimes the first impression isn't this like immaculate. Oh, my gosh, they're so amazing. But trying to leave for trying to leave for the seventh time. That's literally an addiction. 100%. It's an addiction. Like until we actually change the story that you're believing, you're always going to go back. Like until you actually rewire the thought that happens, you will always go back to that same person every single night. Like we've seen people that have broken up. I've met with people that have been away from the narcissist for two years, no contact for two years, and they still are ruminating. They still have the intrusive thoughts. They're still stuck with that. Check out the link in the bio, escapetoxicity.com. Because in there, it actually walks you through the process of how we actually start to break you free. Mentally, emotionally, the story that you tell yourself controls you. Like what you actually tell yourself, like you end up believing that every single time. My narcissist texted me a message saying his mom can't find her earbuds, pretty much accusing me of stealing them from his house. Wow. Yeah. No, I mean, a lot of times the narcissist will find any reason to be able to text you, any reason to be able to respond for, for sure. 10 years on stuck because of the stupid law of the land. As far as like, you're not divorced or like, what does that actually mean? I realized I was gaslighting myself. Yeah. A lot of times you're telling yourself a lie. You're telling yourself a story until you actually confront that lie, which a lot of people don't want to do. We walk people through that, but a lot of people run away from it because they don't want to actually face the truth of the situation. The truth is the only thing that's going to set you free. Took me a physical attack out. Then time for me in the hospital to leave him. Yeah. Why did he come back to say sorry if he doesn't even want me? It could be to reestablish contact. Contact like It could be like an attempt at a Hoover. It could be an attempt at just interacting so that he actually has a little bit more control over you. There's a lot of different pieces there. It was 10 years in and finally managing to stay gone thanks to finding ground motivation. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Power up. My ex contacted me on February while dating someone. Since March 20th, he's single and unblocked me. So the thing you need to understand is he unblocked you and you know that, which is a problem because we need to get to the place where you actually block him so he doesn't have access to you. Like that is the big piece. What is up? Good to see you. Been no contact with a narcissistic ex for a year. I have two small kids under four. Now we are forced to co-parent. This is going to be difficult. <clears throat> Look up the Biff method, brief, informative, friendly, and firm. Follow Judge Anthony, Anthony Bompiani, and understand that you're not going to be able to co-parent, but you're going to have to parallel parent. You're going to have to live two separate lives in order to even possibly make it work. Okay. Two years divorced from the narcissist, parallel parenting. And the Biff oh, sweet. You beat me to it. You're like saying it as I was saying. It. That's awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, no, totally get that. Um, I was just typing that. That's hilarious. Great minds think alike, right? I think there are more self-aware narcissists out there today than we realize because of all the information that is out there. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's a lot of it out there. And the thing is, a lot of people are with self-aware narcissists. The difference is they just don't care. Like, you need to understand a lot of times people think, oh, if I could just get my person to be aware, then it would all work. A lot of narcissists know the pain that they're causing you and they don't care. 
Like if you hear any of that, hear that part, okay? Do narcissists actually love? Popular question. A lot of people love to be able to ask this question. Here's the thing. A narcissist cannot love with their ego in the way. So think of it this way. Like, can you see me? I got like two different cameras, but can you see me with this water bottle in front of my face? No, you can't. Okay. A narcissist can't actually see truly you and you can't truly see the narcissist when there's a bunch of lies in between. Narcissists can't actually embrace you with love because there's this ego in between that says, hey, I'm more important. My mask is more important than you. So I'm going to do whatever I have to do to be able to avoid you, to be able to avoid the pieces of you that I actually need to be able to connect with. So a narcissist can't actually love with their ego in the way with the mass that's in the way. Think of it this way. You can't truly love someone until you start to know someone. And the problem is you never know a narcissist because you're only falling in love with a mask. You're not falling in love with the actual person. Okay. Uh, why do you think about them when you block them from your life completely out of your life? Because you're dealing with the trauma bond and it's going to always pull you back. So you change like the mindset. That's what we really focus on with raw motivations and in all our coaching programs, like the mindset of rewiring the mindset. You'll always, you'll always deal with rumination. How do you feel if your ex after years of no contact blocks you on social media? Um, are you asking me? Because I don't really have any people that are exes that don't already have me blocked. So um, five years of mine completely disappeared from my life like I never existed. Yeah, a lot of times they will do that uh, because in their mind, you didn't exist. Not in, the, not in the sense of like you had worth or value. Now, the difference you have to understand is that's the narcissist treating you that way. That's not your actual intrinsic worth or value, but a narcissist will make you want to believe that, will make you want to think that, okay? The hardest one to accept is that they don't care, 100%. That's what people struggle with all the time. Like, that's why I try to say it all the time. A narcissist does not care about you. They care about themselves and not even in a self-love aspect of like infatuated with themselves. They care about themselves as in the mask. Like a narcissist cares about the mask that they're actually projecting to other people. That's it. When he was dating that girl, he unblocked me on Insta while he dated her before fully unblocking me. Now, a lot of times the narcissist wants to make sure he has someone on the side. Like, let me communicate with you while I'm still with someone else at the same time. Okay? Um, let's see. Now, blocked him on and off. Why, when he's blocked, I fear something could happen to him, and I wouldn't know until it's too late. So I unblocked him, still no contact. So, so all that is going back to the trauma bond. And then it's also like, okay, what is the piece that's actually going to make a difference? If something happens to him, that's going to be his own thing to deal with. That's no longer your weight to bear. Like, that's no longer your responsibility. And it never was your responsibility to actually be responsible for another person, okay? Um, my ex is spanish i'm british he lived in the uk with me for a year and didn't speak english and i had to do everything for him and got stressed and anxious and got to a point i told him to go although i still love him i was with him for 18 years and the thing is like you can still love the person like you can still love the person but it doesn't mean you have to be with them like you can still care for someone but it doesn't even mean you need to be with them you can even forgive a person but it doesn't mean you ever have to have contact like a lot of people get this confused with how we actually work through this how come my covert hasn't hoovered me and he has no new supply? He was obsessed with me. At that point, like you need to understand, like there's a piece of you asking that that's like ugh, kind of bummed out because he didn't hoover me, right? At the end of the day, like because he didn't hoover you means he probably thought he couldn't control you anymore. Or is the part where he's just moving on, he didn't care because he didn't care to start off with. Like you just need to be able to hear that. Hoover does not mean care. Hoover means control. Like can I actually control this person? Can I actually manipulate this person? Okay, uh, let's see. Mine has been with this new supply longer and actually live, lives with, never lived with someone before. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, it's a different type of manipulation. Narcissus builds a new mask for the new person, builds a new mask for you to make sure I look the way you need me to look. I change the way you need me to change for this relationship. How are you able to change and have a marriage? So I didn't have a marriage for a while when my wife left. Uh, she took our, uh, my wife and my daughter. They moved out of state and they were like, we're done. And they were done because there was no change behavior. There was nothing actually that I was actually working on and doing different. It was the same thing. I was in therapy, wasn't changing. The big pivotal aspect of it was I was still a liar. Until I got to the place of like, okay, if I want different results in my life, and i got to keep this, this cycle is going to keep going. Like no matter what, I have to change something. One of the things that had to change was I had to stop fucking lying. Like until that reality was there of like the only way to actually work on someone like changing anybody, not even a narcissist, anybody, they have to stop lying to themselves 
to others, yeah, that's great. But to themselves, it's the only way that anyone's going to change. But it has to be bringing that honesty, bringing that vulnerability to actually say, I want different. Like, I want to change who I actually am. You can't change the narcissist. You can't make them be any different than what they are today. They're the only ones that can make any type of change. The thing you need to understand while you're all holding out of like, how do I make mine change? What do I have to do to make mine change? Okay, you can't. There's nothing, there's no pill, there's no pixie dust you can sprinkle on the narcissist to make them magically change, get better. What you can do is you can change yourself, you can change your circumstances, and then you can change the shit that you actually put up with. But you have to value you. If you don't value you, it's not going to work. Nothing's going to change. If you're not in a relationship with a person who is honest, vulnerable, and showing consistent change, you're living a pipe dream and you need to leave. Hands down.